five, five, three. Take one. It's password. It's super password. Our special guest this week. From Give Me a Break, Lori Handler. And from Brothers, Robert Walden. And the star of Super Password, Bert Conley. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome, welcome to Super Password. I'm, don't help me out here now. You just made all my cards fall I down. I dropped here. Wendy's name. Yes, now it's gone forever. We'll never know who's there. Oh, it's Wendy. That's how we know. How are you both today? Everything going okay? Yeah. You haven't uh, been over there yet, have no, you? No, no. Why don't you send me over? Are you feeling the pressure to get over there? Do you feel that you're not doing as well because I, you haven't been over there yet? Well, otherwise, this audience <laughs> might send me to the same dungeon that they wanted to send Lori to yesterday. Uh, there's a rough crowd showing up this week. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know where they're from, but uh, we better find out. Um, where are they from, Gene? Where are all the people in our audience from today? All over? All over the United States. People visiting from all over, coming out for the summer to California? Absolutely. Okay. Well, why are they, well, why are they so mean? I mean, I, they've been very rough on us up here. Uh, they've been outside in the hot sun. Uh, outside in the hot sun. That can, make you, that can make you anxious. I understand. Okay. Because, Laura, we thought we were going to lose her yesterday. What a rough crowd in here. Uh, if you're ready to go... <laughs> They're going to be wonderful today, though. This is a yes. different house. This, this is, is a different, different audience. Group of people, you're, right? you're better, different, right? A different audience. Yeah. See, you can tell. I could tell. The moment I walked out, I could tell the different feeling here. It was warmer. It was, it was just friendly, friendly and yeah, really very fresh and nice. So it's nice to have all of you with us. And here comes our players. Come on, Wendy and Sarah. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Hi, uh, Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bert. How nice are you? to see you today. Uh, Sarah, tell us about yourself once again because you are the challenger. Okay, my name is Sarah Lansden, and I am a data processor for a company that collects all the movie grosses from the theaters and gives them to the studios. Right. Yes. Uh, so that people understand exactly, collects the grosses. You mean that the dollars that come into the box office from people who go to the movie, all of that money goes to a certain place, goes to you. <laughs> yes, I take it personally. Yes. And then go around to the studios late at night and do it back. You actually <laughs> Do you actually get the money or do you do it? Um, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, you just report how much they made. Right, we put it into the computer. I see. And it prints out for them. I see. Who gets to see that? Uh, we do and they do. You and, uh, you mean and you and the studios? The people who hire us, the studios. Right, but the, the, the directors and the actors and all those people never get to see that, do no. they? Yeah. No, they get the made up ones. That's like Mel Brooks. <laughs> Mel Brooks said there should be a sign over the studios that says, We got it, you find it. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, thanks for being with us, Sarah. And, uh, and now it's time to talk to our champion, Wendy, who has $5,800, even though she just got here. Hi, right. my name is Wendy Shane Brigode. Still is. It still is. Okay. And I'm still a professional shopper. And I still have a two and a half year old little boy named Taylor, very smart child. And uh, I like to sew. I make a lot of his clothes and I make a lot of my clothes. Nothing I'm wearing, but no. I do like to sew a lot. This is a courageous She's woman who much has... Too much talent. But she goes out taste. and shops and still makes her own clothes. What a wonderful thing that is. <sighs> well, you're a wonderful champion. I hope you're having a good time. This is a $200 puzzle coming up, and if you're ready to go, um, what's going to happen? Wendy and Sarah are going to give the clues. You have your little television sets there. So the cash word today is worth $1,000. There's the first word, and Wendy, will you lead us off, please? Smart. Intelligent. Okay, Sarah. Owl. Wise. Yes, very nice. <laughs> On the board, we have wise, Robert. What could that be, sir? Potato chips. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Is it potato chips? Well, go figure. Wouldn't that be great <laughs> if it was, though? All right, here we go. Next word, please. There it is, Sarah. Modern. Uh, 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 furniture. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Old. Antiques. Okay. Uh, Sarah. Antiquated. Ancient. Oh, that's a great clue. <laughs> Very nice. We have wise and ancient, sir. Uh, Yoda. 
Is it Yoda? <laughs> not bad. It's not bad. It's a very good guess, isn't it? Why uh, is it ancient? No dungeons for me. It was no, a good guess. no, 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 no. This is a different audience. They love you. Oh, crazy about you. Non-dungeon audience. Non-dungeon audience. <laughs> okay. A dungeonous audience. Here we go. Next word. <laughs> Sarah. Eastern. Sheena. <laughs> Was there an R in that? I didn't hear. Eastern. <laughs> I, I'm listening hard. No, you are. You certainly are it's listening hard. It's only my hard. third day. Very okay. It is English, you know. Here we go. Wendy. Chinese. Oriental. <laughs> See how easy it is. Okay. Wise, ancient, and oriental. I say it is Confucius. Is it Confucius? Yes, it is. All right. Very good. Give me Give me dungeon, philosophy. But... <laughs> no, no, never again. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back to <laughs> play for our thousand dollar password right after this record. Okay, this is uh, t time for our cash word because Wendy is leading with $200 and Sarah has $100, but here we go. You also have not done this yet, Robert. I mean, I don't want to keep bringing no. these things up, but... I have enough pressure just doing the normal <laughs> stuff, the everyday stuff. You'll get a shot at it before the week is over. All right, let's show everybody at home what the cash word is. As I said, it's worth $1,000. And if you're ready, we're ready for clue number one. Rhyme. Poem. All right, clue number two. Dirty laundry. <laughs> Here's the third and final clue. Uh, poem. Lyric. Oh. oh, you said two words. I thought you had it both times because it starts with an L. The word was limerick. Limerick, close. Yes. Close. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty well, laundry was one of the same letters. <laughs> Well, That's let's just put Too bad. Cash was worth two thousand bucks. Next time, with our score, Wendy two hundred dollars and Sarah a hundred dollars, we will change partners, gang. Let's do that right away. Bye. Uh, tomahawk. No, that's not it. Well, there is no rhyme, I don't believe, for that. I can't think of one for limerick. Can you? Uh, nothing no. I can say. Nothing. On the air. No, I don't really think so. What? It is a rhyme. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, smart guy. Just okay. be the boss and just don't pay attention. Uh, here's a $300 puzzle if you're ready to go, gang. Um, Robert and Laura, you'll be giving the clues, and uh, let's go to it. Here comes the first word. $5,000 in the end game, and Laurie, please. Smelly. Stinky. Yes. <laughs> and that's, that's not a word that you would think would come up, stinky, you know? First time we've had stinky since I've been here. I know that. <laughs> here it comes on the board. We have stinky. Sarah, you need this to stick around. I. Is it a lagoon? <laughs> <laughs> it could. Is it a lagoon? That's wonderful. Aren't words funny sometimes? Isn't that one of the seven dwarfs? Stinky? No, no, no. no. Stinky. Can't guess until it's your turn. The monster from the stinky lagoon. You remember that? <laughs> here comes the next word, please. Lagoon is such a funny word. Laurie. Hill. Mountain. Yes. Very good. We have Stinky Mountain. <laughs> Sarah. Is it a, a volcano? Is it a volcano? <coughs> no, it's not. The legend of Stinky Mountain tonight. <laughs> Eight o'clock on NBC. Here comes the next word, please. There it is. Laurie. Uh, um... Uh. Yeah. Okay, Robert. Good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there was any strategy, strategy in that. Okay. William? Tell? Ooh. Yes. Uh, 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 Martin. Bill. Billy? <laughs> no, 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 no. Take your first answers all we can have, Robert. Goat. Billy. Yes. Yeah. That's a great clue to call William. Surely that's a form of the word. Well, they wouldn't accept that as a form of the word. Is that a form? On names, you don't take it. On names, they don't take it. We just made that up now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, never on names. It's never a form of the word on a name. 
If you had with some other word, fine, but not on a name. We don't ever do it on a name. Here comes Stinky Mountain Billy. Is it a goat? Is it a goat? Yes, it's a goat. But again, <laughs> we don't need nanny or animal. Well, I should have said it, but it is the game, and you have won the game. Uh, Sarah. <clears throat> So you ran into a tough player, and you ran into some bad luck, and I'm very sorry about that. Gee, it's too bad. You, you won $100, and uh, I thank you for being here. And thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Nice meeting you. Let's go take the fire fight. Yes. You're up. First time. Go. First time. Ah. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here we go. My mouth is dry, so you have to calm me down. All right, now this is the first time Robert's been over here. So, but you're an old pro over here. You know how to do it. So your calmness, which you said the other day, you felt extremely calm, will work on you. And now you'll feel very calm, right? You feel calm. You're an actor, a stage actor. You know. Oh, yeah. You know how nervous we are before we... Oh, before, yes. But now you're here. Yes. So no time to be nervous now. Uh, ten words beginning with the letter A and continuing through the letter J. A through J. You get them all, I'll give you $5,000. And every one that you get right, I'll give you $100. Okay? 60 seconds, sir. Okay? Yes. Let's take a look at your first word. This is what I do over here, Robert, to get you a little relaxed. It's really for the contestants, but some of the, some of the people like it, too. Um, you have your first word, and if you're ready to go, good luck, Wendy. Thank you. And go. Fight. Argue. B. Floral. Bouquet. C. Ice. Cold. Little. Cube. D. Um. Flower. Dandelion. Daisy. E. Con. Electricity. Energy. Uh, uh, pass. F. Three. Four. G. Uh, water. Receptacle. Glass. A. <clears throat> um, neck. Pug. Blotch. Picky. I. Uh, BB. Infant. J. Uh, a stone. Jewel. Color. Gem. Green. Uh, jade. E. Uh, Alvin. Oh! 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 It's so funny that you said con. It's wonderful. That's New York. New York. Yes. New York, yeah. Energy, he was going for con Edison. Uh, oh, and I'm a New Yorker. Really. Inventor, Thomas, maybe. See, I'm real good over there. Don't what listen I to me. Thomas, yeah. yeah, that's tough. Edison was the one. Oh, Khan is wonderful. It's a perfect clue, but uh, we're on the wrong coast. Should have gone electricity, Khan. Oh, that wouldn't have Even helped. Even that, no. Nope. But, uh, but you're from New York? Originally, yeah. Well, that might well, have occurred to you. Think well, we must. We'll clean up and move on. Hey, so you, did, you did fine. <laughs> yeah, clean we must. Uh, nine out of ten ain't so bad. Very, very you happy. got got $100 for each one of those, which means $900. <laughs> We now have $7,200. The next time, Super Password will be worth $10,000, and you can come back for that as well. Yeah, okay. And we'll come back in a moment. Don't go away. Um, if you're ready to go, we have a challenger for you, Wendy. And here he comes now. Come on in, Al. Won't you please? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell us about yourself, sir, won't you? I will. Uh, my name is Al Haferkamp, and I'm a transplant from Texas, as of 12 years, so practically a native. I do accounting here in Los Angeles, and I, after hours, I teach for a private school. Oh, what do yep. you teach? Can you tell us? Um, I teach classes in creativity. Really? Creative. I hope it works here today. We'll find out, <laughs> won't we? All right, well, good luck to you, Al, and thanks for coming. And if you're all set, gang, let's play the $100 puzzle, shall we? Uh, Laurie and Robert giving the clues, and here comes your very first word. Coming up on the board. There it is. Laurie, please. Smushed. Crushed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Perfect clue. Smushed. <laughs> smushed can be nothing else. That's Perfect Stu Webster's on a bridge. I'm absolutely. certain of that. Absolutely. Smushed is absolutely crushed we have, sir. Is it snow cones? A uh, very good guess. Is it snow cones? No, I'm it's not. not. Got me scared. Yeah. <laughs> Had you worried, didn't it? Creative Here comes guess. the next word, please. Very creative guess. <laughs> okay, Laurie. Uh, slice. Cut. Yes. Very good. Got a lot of out here, then. We have crushed and we have cut, Al. Is it ice? 
Is it ice? <laughs> no? Okay. One more time should do it. Here we go. Next word, please. Hmm, all right. Red. White. All right, Robert, you get a chance to get in here. Azure. Blue. Yes, excellent. Blue, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Crushed, cut, and blue, Wendy. Is it, uh... Oh, I know what it is. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. Do you know what it is? I... No. Could be one of several things. Let's, well, I'm telling you. I thought you. I knew, and then no, I'd I probably get rude. Two things. I know I'll, what it is, okay? Let's make side bets. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> okay. I've tried that, that case. before. <laughs> that Here case, we go. We Next it. word, please. Yep. Robert? Anthem. Theme. All right, Laurie. Uh, country. National. That's right. We have crushed, cut, blue, and national L. I hope it's velvet. Is it velvet? Yes. You bet. Ah. Nice going. <laughs> and fabric you didn't move. Oh, ah. Okay, didn't move. I think that. We'll break away for commercial and we'll come right back. Ice. Put it on. Crushed, cut, blue. Oh, not velvet. <laughs> no, not velvet. You said you had it earlier. We are back. Uh, we have a $200 puzzle coming your way now, and uh, the cash word is worth $2,000. Whomever wins this, whomever, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scared myself. Uh, Wendy and Al, you're given the clues. Take a look at your monitors, and here comes your first word. There it is. Wendy, if you will, please. Things. Stuff. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Very nice. We have on the board, sir, stuff. I'll say garage sale. Is it a garage sale? <laughs> See, that's a real it's good creative guess, isn't thinking. It? Very, Very inspiring. Creative. <laughs> right Too on. creative. We must write that down. It's a good answer to a puzzle. All right, here comes the next word, please. And there it is, Wendy. Cleveland, Ohio. That's it. Yeah. Ohio. <laughs> Robert, what could that be? Stuff and Ohio. Uh, matches. I have not a clue. Matches. Is it matches? How could it be Ooh. matches? I think stuff in there. Well, I don't know. You know, if I said something like that, I would have gotten booed. Huh. No, not, not from the audience. This audience is oh, wonderful. You're talking about the other day. No, no they yeah. were rough the other day. It's a perfectly good guess, This course. audience is great. Break with the past. Break with the past. Here we go. Next word, please. There it is. Wendy? Thermometer. Uh, temperature. Mm -hmm. Al? Venus? Mercury. Yes. Ah, very nice. Good girl. Good thinking, good Stuff thinking. Ohio Stuff, Ohio, and Mercury. <laughs> yeah. I didn't um, mean that. Is it the FTD florist? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a small little Mercury? <laughs> you, you might, who knows? Is it the FTD, what? Florist. florist. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to think about the, the seal, how it looks. It's got the, the yes, with the little Isn't guy. The little guy right? Yeah, Isn't you're right. Mercury? You're wrong, but you're right about that. Here comes the next <laughs> word, please. Uh huh. Al. Cosmonaut. Astronaut. Yep. <laughs> Stuff. Um, Ohio. Mercury and astronaut. It, um, oh. Is it right? <laughs> is it right? <laughs> next word, please. And there it is, Al. Representative? Senator. Yes! Oh, oh. oh I know! I know! But she got that word and didn't know. I, I can't believe you sometimes. You are amazing. Because you got that without knowing that, didn't you? I don't know how you did that. Stuff, Ohio, Mercury, astronaut, Senator. Is it John Glenn? Is it John Glenn? <laughs> you bet. Nice going. You, you did? But you can say I know without saying what it is. I was just asking if you knew. Don't tell me what it is. We'll be back in a moment. To play our two thousand dollar cash rule. Right? So you got it. Clear up. Clear up. Oh, you knew all the time. Thank you. We are out of time as we are wont to do. It goes so fast. I wish we had time to talk, but we don't. We must go away. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you'll be with us. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. 
a member of our studio audience will receive Ventura Collection, world-class luggage designed for fast packing, easy traveling, with easy glide wheels on the Pullman, furnished by Ventura. And some of our departing contestants will receive gift certificates for Kentucky Fried Chicken and Fresh Buttermilk Biscuits. You've got to write the chicken done right at Kentucky Fried Chicken. We do chicken right. A gift certificate from Tasty Freeze, part of America's taste since 1950. Try an old-fashioned family treat today at Tasty Freeze. We've got taste. Sunny Delight, Florida Citrus Punch brand. Enjoy the juicy taste of orange, tangerine, and lime. Nothing delights you like Sunny Delight. Your Life Daily Packs, Vitamin Systems with ACDE, B-Complex, Vitamins and Minerals. Your Life Daily Packs, a no-guesswork system. Keep cool this summer with drink sweet with Nectar Sweet. Instant dissolving, non-caloric sweet and Nectar Sweet sweetens without calories. New Easy On Light gives clothes the fresh look of starch and comfort, too. This is Gene Wood speaking for Super Password, a Mark Goodson television production. <laughs>